Let's talk free motion quilting on your FOP Creative Icon 2. Now in this video, I'm not gonna teach you how to free motion quilt, which I do all the time on my quilts. I've become an expert quilter. I will tell you some great places to master free motion quilting, but what I wanted to do is make sure you know how to set this machine up for successful free motion quilting. So you're gonna start with a straight stitch. That's all you need. Of course, the length and everything is not going to be part of this because when you want to free motion quilt, you're gonna select the free motion quilt menu. Up is gonna pop up some options for different feet. Okay, so in a pinch, you can definitely use your included embroidery foot. That actually is a legit quilting foot. One of the things that I will say that makes a big difference for me is using the straight stitch throat plate with that single hole for just really nice accurate stitches when you free motion quilt. I mean, cause you're moving the quilt to the left, to the right and back and forth. You're going over thick seam allowances, intersections, and that's gonna stabilize your needle really well. Now, just because you have this foot doesn't mean that it is the best foot. So speaking of other feet, there is the open toe free motion spring foot and you'll see that that is one of the feet on the list here. Uh, I do like it because I can see where I'm going and this is actually the one that I reach for when I do free motion quilting. But like I said, it, in a pinch, you can use your regular uh, 6D foot dynamic spring foot. So the nice thing is, let's just pretend we are doing the regular spring foot. Did you hear that click? The first thing that you get is that the feed dogs are lowered for free motion quilting. So that means you don't have to find where to lower the feed dogs. They actually automatically lower when you're in the free motion mode. Also take a look, you have ruler foot here. So the ruler foot is if you're working with rulers, which a lot of people like because it's a little bit more accurate. Um, not so like maybe as hard of a learning curve. That's what we've noticed with our customers. So that is also in this particular area. Once you've picked your foot, you could even minimize the free motion menu and then you're all ready to stitch. Put that plate on. Of course, the machine will make sure it recognizes that plate. Let's talk needles for just a little bit. I actually have some Husqvarna Viking branded needles, but there are FOF ones as well. I am a fan of top stitch needles and you'll need to match your needle to the thread you're using. So like an 80 or a 90, these are sharp needles and the eye is a little bit bigger, plus the groove down the front of the needle is bigger. So it's gonna kind of give that thread a hug while you are free motion quilting. Here's a pack of Schmetz needles with the chrome option. So they do have that nice um, setup for the machines that are running much faster these days. That is a, that is a true statement. And they make needles for that. I also use a thinner thread. So if you are an embroiderer here, um, your embroidery thread is actually wonderful. Now I do use a polyester embroidery thread, not a rayon thread. Um, I also have a lot of colors, so it's really easy to find the color I'm looking for for my free motion quilting. Now, the biggest part here is for people to master how fast to move their fabric underneath their foot to get the even looking stitches that you are seeing. So one of the little tricks I always suggest to our newbies is right over here, you have the adjustment for speed. Now, if as I move it, you'll see that little pop-up screen and somewhere between half and three quarters of a speed is nice because what it does is it lets you step on the foot control and start to master that reduced speed. Like you get in a rhythm, kind of like a cruise control where you can move your hands to a nice even clip of your machine stitching. Now don't go too slow. And there is that fine tune of too many stitches or too long of stitches. So you're looking for that nice middle of the road, but that adjusting your speed can actually help. The last thing that people do usually need to adjust is the tension. So after you do a little stitching, flip it over and you should see the same stitch on the front as you did on the back. Like you shouldn't be able to tell that I quilted from this side or this side. So that balance of tension is adjusted right here. Now I will tell you that traditionally you need to increase this 
a bit. How much? Well, it depends on the thread you're using and if you happen to have different threads in your needle than you do in your bobbin. I like to keep them the same, so I'm not adjusting it too much, but usually I am tightening it up just a bit to make sure that you can not tell. This stitch looks just as good on the back. Uh, we kind of do that same thing for embroidery. If you're machine quilting in your embroidery hoop, we usually have to adjust that tension up a little bit more because we're not wanting our threads to pull to the backside. We want them to be more balanced like we see here, and we'll increase that as well. So keep doing the adjustment until you get that perfect stitch. Try out those top stitch needles. Make sure you have a straight stitch throat plate on. If you're not getting success, maybe try a different brand of thread until you find one that works well for you. We'll put some links below of my favorite craftsy classes to help you master the true art of free motion quilting, like actually patterns and exercises that can help you take it from where you are now, knowing how to set up your machine, to actually practicing and getting the results you want on your next quilting project. So again, if you're loving all the quilting you see on my FOF Stitching Cosmos online course quilts, you will find that um, I am a fan of helping you get all the benefits from your machine, every corner of your machine, from presser feet to decorative stitches, and we have all those links in the description below. So check those out and make sure that if you want to watch all these videos in order, visit sewingmastery.com and click on FAF and start your binge watching on that website today.